We got a micro unboxing. What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are unboxing a tackle warehouse order I just placed that has a lot of finessey stuff and a lot of micro finessey stuff. I'm pretty stoked about it. Some of these baits, I was very surprised to see like the actual size of them because I don't feel like social media ever does these things justice. You have to see it in person, you have to put it in your hand. You have to compare it to baits you're used to using and it makes a major difference. I think you guys are gonna like what you see in this video, so let's get into it. Of course, if you like the content, be sure to smash the like, ring the bell, and subscribe, all that cool stuff. Let's go. There's your sneak peek. Okay, first off, we're gonna start with kind of the normal size stuff, uh, but still new things. So we've actually got the Big Bite Baits Kamikaze Swim On, one of my favorite bladed jigs trailers, period. Actually, jig trailers, period. These are fantastic, and they came in a new size this year that I don't have any of for whatever reason. So these are 3.75 inches, and this color is in pearl. Real durable baits. This will be great when you're throwing like your 3 eighths of an ounce bladed jigs instead of your half ounce bladed jigs, something a little bit smaller. I like using the regular size on one, heavier bladed jigs, spinner baits, things like that, but also on like the new big blade chatter baits from Z-Man. The regular size is perfect for that. This size is great on literally every other chatter bait I have. So like my jackhammers in the three eighths of an ounce, this is the perfect trailer. This is what I want to be throwing. And of course, if you want to downsize, that's the way to go. Now these other two are brand, brand new from this year, from this iCast specifically. And this is a split tail Kamikaze Swim On to the point where it's almost replacing the Kamikaze Swim On. I don't know, I got to put it on the water. We'll see how we like it. These are both in the standard size, 4.25 inches. So check this out. Longer tail, obviously a difference there. Look at that. You split this tail down. That's what you're getting for action. So this is really the perfect spinnerbait trailer. If you guys haven't used some sort of a split tail, uh, actually Z-Man makes a pretty cool one, something like this. These are going crazy off the back of your spinnerbait. Oftentimes, if you're not getting bit, this can make that difference. So I went with like a natural color with this smoke gold, and then this bright color that my lights are totally ruining in chartreuse and white swirl. Look at that. So after the new stuff, let's go to some like classics here. We got Zoom, a little baby fluke. Love these. Want to throw this for downsized finesse situations. And then just a crazy different color that I've never used on the regular fluke. Look at this. So this is Midnight Chartreuse. Wow, that's awesome. So nice dark color profile with some real brightness to it as well. A little flash there. So a little split color to it. I dig it. I'm catching tons and tons of fish on flukes now. So I'm sold. Whoever told me to fish flukes in the past and I didn't listen to, I'm sorry. These are great. So thank you for your advice that I ignored for a while, but now I'm happy. Next up is just a boring restock and then we get to the fun stuff. Here we go. Boring. These catch so many fish for me, you guys. So Z-Man Ned Locks. EWG style Ned Head, one fifth ounce, one sixth ounce. It's my two most common weights that I throw. Chartreuse heads for those days that you're in a little bit dirtier water or you got that like real stained water. This was like Lake St. Clair and my lakes this past couple of months. These are great, fantastic option, great profile to them. And then the good old green pumpkin never fails. Put your Ned Baits on these, you're gonna be happy. Last restock item, oh my gosh, I bought two bags. The Copper Truce Z-Man Trick Shots has to be like my top two or three drop shot baits. I catch so many fish on these in my waters. Love, love, love this. The funniest thing is I've had people recently just out of friggin' nowhere, they just came out of the reeds and they're like, hey, guess what? Chartreuse does not work in Michigan. And I was like, excuse me, what? literally the only color I throw and I catch all of my fish on that. So am I missing something? Is everybody else in Michigan not able to catch fish on chartreuse? Cause uh, if you're not, something is wrong. You're missing something. It works really well everywhere I've fished it. Clear to stain to dirty water. I have caught fish on especially copper truce, but chartreuse. It's just a great color. I'm sorry. It's a great color. This is the Chatterbait Custom, and it's just a straight up, I guess it's a Tackle Warehouse exclusive, but it's a straight up naked Chatterbait. Look at this. We are not putting skirts on these. These are for swim baits or craws or something. Throw your trailer on here, and then you got a skirtless uh, Chatterbait for a different look to it. So it's just really just the original Chatterbait blade profile. And then we've got, I think a half ounce in white, 
Comes in a two pack. So we got two of these bad boys. You got your wire bait keeper there. Nice stout hook, great for chatter baits. Line tie up here. So this is really cool, especially since I have a lot of like Z-Man, either paddle tail trailers or like the razor shads. If you guys have ever used those, great trailer. Something like that I wanna throw on here. And then I also wanna try throwing some craws on there cause I just don't do that enough. So mix it up, God, all the, the white and chartreuse is getting my lights all freaking out. So mix it up a little bit, have some fun with it, and have a different way to throw chatterbaits. I love chatterbaits. It's getting back to more productive bladed jig time. So I plan on throwing them a lot for the next month or two. Okay, now everything's new. Look at this. I I don't know, maybe, maybe I've missed this somewhere, but this is called the flashback mini. First of all, flash represent one eighth of an ounce chatterbait. This I'm throwing immediately. This is perfect. If you guys have like a BFS setup, this is gonna be money for that BFS. So the funny thing is the plastics included, it's not a Laztec, which is interesting for a Z-Man pack, but it has the, the foil, that's that flash. Look at that, foil down the middle. I mean, it feels like it'll hold up for a couple bites. I don't know how long, we'll have to test it, but that flash is awesome. So perfect, like minnow, little tiny bait fish profile. Amazing. And it comes with one tiny bladed jig. So we got our chatterbait blade there, the original setup with the snap ring there, and one eighth of an ounce standard jig head. Nothing special, We you throw this on there. And I didn't even notice this, but you got a mix up on the tail. So one is a standard tail, low action. The other is a curly tail high action. So we can change that up if we want to. That's a really cool option. So you get two plastics, one jig with that. I'm excited to use this, especially going after like crappie and panfish. This should be a blast. Okay, now we get to the really fun stuff. Stuff I've been looking forward to trying for the longest time. And I know a lot of you guys have asked me to try these out. So thank you for pointing them out. I've been thinking about it and we finally just pulled the trigger and did it. So we got the Micro Finesse series from Z-Man. So these are the shrooms. They've had like lightweight jig heads for their neds for the longest time, but they were super long on the shank. And you're gonna notice that that wouldn't work with these baits. So this is the shorter shank variation of that, one in chartreuse and then one in black. So this would be just like a nice basic setup. Got them both in 1 15th of an ounce because you guys know I'm subtly aggressive. I don't wanna go slow. You don't have to dead stick these things. This is already gonna fall at a much slower rate than your other ned rig setups. And when you see these baits, you're gonna be really excited about this because we're gonna go do a little micro fishing day. I'm gonna take these out on the water, just fish all the small stuff, all the small stuff, and catch a lot of fish. Uh, and it's gonna give me an excuse to bring the old BFS back out that I haven't been using for a while. So it's broken on the ceiling, but it's okay. Oh, it's Shimano Sensolite, nice and durable. Okay, so there's the shrooms. What do we throw on them? Well, these itty bitty baits. Look at how small these things are. This, this is what I was talking about. I was very surprised by the size. Not so much with these two. Like these are fine. They're, they're a lot longer actually than I expected. But with these, these are micro turds. <laughs> micro TRDs. Oh my gosh. Let's get one of each of these out. And if you didn't notice, they're all in chartreuse because it works, the audacity. All right, so first up, shad fries. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at that. Little tiny tail, it's actually a jointed swim bait. Look at that back there, it's gonna have some action to it. And it's green pumpkin chartreuse. It's got kind of like big bulging eyes off the side, look at that. This thing is gnarly, oh my gosh. So still elastic, still hyper durable. Uh, this is perfect if you're going after crappie and panfish. And it's gonna pair up really well with these jig heads. I'm gonna go ahead and rig up one of each here so we just see how they look rigged. They're actually really easy to rig on these jigs. And the plastics have a spot for the hook to come out. I'm not sure if it is, but it's, it's almost, it feels like it's hollow inside almost. Check that out. There we go. So we'll just rip this baby out there, swim it on back, uh, rinse and repeat. You're gonna catch some fish. Next up would be this bad boy, this, this little demon from heck. Look at that. So this is called the Larvas, and it's got this crazy little fork tail coming down there. Wow, this thing is insane. 
It's gonna have a lot of action and look fantastic sitting on the bottom. I would love to fish this in the river as well. High current situation, it's basically just a float rig. It's just gonna go down. Um, but in slower parts of the river, you find those like dead pools. It would be perfect. This jig is almost too long for it, which is interesting. I have to make it that way, but we can make this work. Look at that. Wow. So that's how that's gonna look rigged up. That is super cool. So on the bottom, because Elastec floats a lot, this tail is actually gonna be upright just like this. Very finessey Ned setup. Uh, this is gonna get chewed a lot. And finally, the PS de resistance, the micro turd. Look at this thing. It is so tiny. Look at this. This is the regular TRD. That's it, just a regular one. This is the micro TRD. That's how different the sizing is. That is absolutely bonkers and was not well represented on just the base images that they had on social media. So I had no idea it was this heckin' small and still this durable. Of course I got it in the only color that exists, Copper Truce. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at this. Wow, just a micro turd. I cannot wait to throw this thing around. This is insane bananas, bonkers, whatever you want to say. I'm going to catch a million fish on this. You just wait. There we go. So that's rigged up to, again, the finesse shrooms. I went with chartreuse. You can throw it on the black, green pumpkin, whatever you want to do. They have white too, I think. So lots of different options with this. Just overall an amazing bait and something I'm going to throw quite a bit. Ultra light blast. So that's everything from this order. I am most excited for the micro finesse. I can't wait to compare that to some of my other favorite baits of all time, like from mule fishing, from Nico baits, uh, both of which have sizes similar to this that we can have a lot of fun on. So look forward to that video. We'll get it out on the water as soon as we can. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, consider smashing like, notification bell, subscribe, all that cool stuff. And we really hope to see you on our brand new live podcast that'll be coming soon, just called aggressively average anglers it'll be here on youtube live and then available anywhere you listen to podcasts thanks for considering it and we'll catch you on the next video